Yeah, human eye can only see like I think 15 FPS, guys. It's 15 FPS per per eye, so it's 30 total. Like the max an eye can get to, like if you really train it, like Marines and uh, archers, they have a they have a they have a 16.7 FPS. They get an extra 0.6. But they have to fight for that. That's not something that comes easy. That comes with years of training. Go, go, go. And also, there's some genetics to it, too. Do steroids help? There's certain steroids that help. Test propanate. Uh, and obviously, that's used for, for um, obviously, to boost your testosterone. And when you have a boosted testosterone level, um, you will be able to utilize your vision a lot better. And therefore, when you're training your vision, it will actually help out a lot. So that's why you see that a lot of men have better vision than, than, than well, the males have better female, uh, the, the males have better vis vision than females. And that just comes from how the bodies are structured and the men carry a lot more testosterone because they have, you know, the big old balls hanging and dangling. How does getting pregnant affect FPS? So when it comes to pregnancy, you know, there's a lot of, everybody knows about, you know, when, when pregnancy hits and when there's, uh, you know, when there's a, uh, a human that's going to be born, there's a lot of hormonal changes in the, in, the, in the female body. So what ends up happening is that a lot of the effort of the body goes towards, pr pr you know, producing and squirting out this kid. Um, and that would actually take away some of the, some of the eyesight. Uh, and especially during the, the, the conceiving of the, of the child in question, there's definitely, there's definitely a, a drop in vision there because they will see, you, you hear a lot of uh, males talk about this, you know, they will talk about, oh, my, my woman saw red and she started hitting me and started cussing at me. That's because they can't see. You know when they say, oh, her, I just saw a flash of red and I just started, uh, I, just, I just became so upset that I, I put the knife in his body and I killed him. You know, a lot of people tell that, tell that story. And that's actually, that comes from when you're in a, um, when you come in a fight with somebody, whether that be a physical fight or a verbal fight, if you get really into it and you get really, you know, there's a lot of emotions involved. And when you get a lot of emotions involved, um, it can actually escalate to a point where your testosterone will shoot so high and you will be ready. It will literally, your body will go into survival mode, right? Because it wants to survive. But this is like, oh, it's a fight coming up. And if I don't win, I'm going to die. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to die. Uh, so the body goes into survival mode. Bumps up your testosterone to insane levels. What will end up happening is that your body will be so pumped up with testosterone. That it will be, it will be extremely hard uh, for you to even utilize your vision at that point. So is the FPS too high or too low? Uh, well, the you would think that the FPS group would go high, right? That would be your logic telling you that, okay, well, we talked about, you know, boosting your testosterone would give you that, you know, if with the right proper training and the right proper nutrition and, and rest, you know, you could pack on, you know, you could pack on a full FPS or maybe 0. 0.6. You know, we've seen, we've seen a dude drop, we've seen a dude increase by 5 FPS, but he later got a tumor and died. And he couldn't actually see because the frames were going by so fast. Imagine going from 15 FPS to 20, guys. It's insane. The, the human eye is not capable of carrying that many frames per second. Yeah, so you would think that boosting your testosterone would increase your FPS, right? And that would be the same for females. So when you're in a fight, when you increase your testosterone, when your body wants to survive, um, you would think that that would be a good thing because then you can see it's a smoother picture. So you would be able to, you know, dodge the punches and uh, hit it with a... Pa -pow, pa -pow, pa -pow, pa -pow. Actually, what ends up happening is because of this testosterone, this testosterone boost, this sudden testosterone boost, it's not something that happens just like, you know, over a period of a, of a week or a month or a, let's say a half a year, six months, right? This is something that happens like that. And with that comes a lot of adrenaline. And here's where the kicker comes in. When the adrenaline spikes the testosterone, that's where you will almost go completely blind. So people say, you know, I, well, I went blind with rage. And you just like, you know, I killed him. I went blind with rage. That's exactly what it is. <clears throat> Wait, so do drugs give you like an after effects look? There's certain drugs that have, a, have that effect. Um, there's a very common drug that a lot of people know about, which is marijuana. And marijuana is one of the, the worst Lover. drugs that you could ever do. It not only dampens dampens your uh, lower your 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 vision and lowers your frames per second but what it does is it actually lowers your brain capacity they say it's about 43 to 47.7 percent so marijuana is very deadly 
but the marijuana affects your brain and that in return affects your eyes. So your body, your, your brain will tell, your brain will say, hey dude, I'm chill, dude. Hey, no need to relax. Wait, what? What are we even talking about anymore? That's literally your brain communicating with itself because it's starting to hallucinate a little bit. So your brain will lose total, total focus. And when you lose focus, what do you lose? Vision, you lose FPS, you start dropping frames. <laughs> so why do people say if you masturbate, you'll go blind? Um, once again, what happens when you masturbate? Um, you're ready, that's, you, you know, that that's, you, you do that to uh, ejaculate, right? You ejaculate and you uh, prolong the lifespan of your, of your species. That's how, you know, uh, that's how humans procreate. They, they ejaculate into a penis, ejaculates into a vagina, and out comes, uh, you know, out squirts a baby nine, nine months later. What happens when we masturbate? I mean, we're all friends here, we're all, we're all guys here, so we can all talk about this. Uh, what, en what ends up happening is that we, um, we get excited, right? We, uh, our adrenaline starts pumping. Now, what happens when our adrenaline started pumping? What happened? Yes, spike in testosterone. Yeah, but you literally just don't masturbate too much or go blind. Uh, can also donate oh to you guys saying marijuana Boom. helps me perform preform pre better on CS Boom. outcome. That's because CS is one of those games that requires no skill. Um, this is one of those games that you can literally kick back with your friends, have a couple of brewskis. Have a couple of brewskis and just uh, kick it back, relax and smoke some J, you know, while some marijuana. Whereas a game such as a, a Happy Wheels or a, um, a Call of Duty, it requires a little bit more attention, a little bit more effort. Uh, you know, you're not going to become max prestige just by simply kicking it back with your boys, pounding down a couple of bad boys, uh, and calling it a night. You know, that's not how it's going to be. The human species is a wonderful specimen of a of a of a man, because there's no other, there's no such thing as another man. So, what does the brain have to do with FPS? Excellent question, Strudel. Where should we begin? Um, so your brain. Hold on, let me, your, your brain is like, uh, you know, the old movie, Forrest Gump, um, you know, he said, life is like a box of chocolates, it doesn't matter what you're gonna get, no, life, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get, isn't that the same, well, anyways, it doesn't matter, so cooling has to do with water, right, you know you have 90, 97% water, no wait, that's cucumber, you have 65% water in your body, you're walking around, blah, blah, blah. you're like a fucking fish, but on the inside, not on the outside, but on the, on the inside, you're like, there's f f water going, and you have gills, but, uh, so there, there's a lot of water, but you don't have gills, but you get what I'm saying, you can breathe, you're not drowning, but your body needs water, so your body needs water to, to cool down, because if you don't get enough water into your system, what will happen? Fry. Boom. What happens? Decreased brain capacity. What happens as a follow effect? What did we talk about earlier? The FPS, the eyes, the eyes suffer. Your FPS drops. So it all comes, it, it, it all comes in, a, in a bubble, in a sphere, in an orb. If you would look at it like that, an orb. Everything affects everything. You start up here, we have a CPU malfunctioning. Uh, affects the RAM, uh, affects the GPU, uh, affects the eyes. And when you can't see straight, you start getting a headache, and you can't you can't make sense of what's happening in front of you. You're you're you got the Instagram filters on your eyes. Have you ever considered overclocking your eyebrows? What's no, my eyebrows only. Twenty one. My eyebrows only. You stupid. You stupid. donate two dollars, saying, "How can you go on explaining for this long and still keep a straight face?" Is beyond me. Well, Calipon, it all comes down to um, to um, a level of where I understand where I can comfortably talk about something for a really long time. Um, and with adding in hand gestures and stuff like this and kind of pausing down a little bit, you don't always have to speak really fast and do all this because then you would just confuse people. And usually when you slow down your speech, it will make, it will, it will, it will sound like you know what you're talking about, but if you're actually listening to the words coming out of my mouth, uh, they don't make any sense at all. But with the added hand gestures, with me looking into the camera, um, with me kind of talking to you guys like I'm lecturing you guys, it appears like I know a lot of what I'm talking about. And if you're zoning out, maybe you're playing a different game uh, and you're just listening to me, you would be like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. But wait, what did he say earlier? Oh, never mind. That's probably not important. You will miss out. It's uh, really hard. We're not going to be able to cut, but we're going to just break this and then we're going to, we're just crazy, huh? We're crazy. We're just uh, we're just a couple of crazy people having fun. But uh, how do we get sticks? There we go. We got sticks. 
four of them. More of them. <laughs> but that's okay. So we go inside. So we have our sticks here. <laughs> yeah, if you think I'm going to drop, you have another thing coming, mate. <laughs> you ain't getting... Yeah. <laughs>